Hello, it is Russ and Rhino, and I haven't been recording lately. I haven't really been feeling that well, but I'm back, <laughs> and I don't really know what to do, so I'm just going to play some Minecraft. I'm just going to show you some maps that I've been working on, and if you ever want to join me, I have, uh, I'm on Xbox 360, if you ever want to join me in building my maps, my maps are always open when I'm on Minecraft, and if you want to play Minecraft, just message me, and we'll play Minecraft, but, um, my friends list is pretty full, I've got like 99 friends on here or whatever, so, if you do friend me, send me a message or comment on my YouTube video, like, uh, comment on the, on, on the YouTube video, or send me a message, you probably already know my gamer tag, but if you don't, it's right there. It's R R G X on X Y T. So, if you ever looking for somebody to play Minecraft with, hit me up. We'll do some maps. I'm working on some big projects that I need help with, and it would be cool if you could help me out with that too. So, first, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my where that where that though. I think this is it. I don't even know. I, I really need to start naming my maps. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it might be the right map, so we're just gonna hop on and see what it is. Nope, it's not the right map. This is also an unfinished map that would be cool to work with if you ever want to hop on here. It's just a castle. I like making castles. Um, yeah, well, it's not a lot done. It's got a little river in the middle. It's going to be like a courtyard here with some doors and stuff. It's gonna be a castle up on this hill. I did the I did two huge dams. I don't think I finished this though. No, I didn't finish this dam, but I did I did finish the other two dams on the other side. There's a dam there. And then there's a dam over here. I think it looks pretty awesome. There's a lot of work. A lot of detail into it. There's some pretty cool things in here. I'm sure most of you have seen a door like this. Pushes down too, you flip it up, it goes up too. It's my main gate. It's pretty cool. If you ever want to come and join this, again, just send me a message or comment on my video, your gamer tag. Cats are making way too much noise and it's bugging me. Stop making so much noise, I'm recording. Um. Yep, that's one map. I didn't do anything, so I'm not going to bother saving. Let's get to the next map. Uh, I guess I'll show you the park. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff going on here. It's just pretty much a big amusement park and there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff to do in it. Here we are at the logo. This is where you would all spawn right on my YouTube logo. And this thing's here. Uh, it's ice boat racing. This is just ideas of what I wanted to add on here. I'm not going to read them all. But if you want to pause it and look at it, there's some things there. You could, all, you could also add everything you want. My YouTube right there. Let's take a book. Uh, if you look at these books over here, uh, it says leave your gamer tag and leave the coordinates that you built whatever on. So I got a I got a racetrack here, which is pretty cool. It's a ice boat racetrack, and then we got uh, a little. As you see up there, I did some 8-bit art of the helmet. So this is like where you would go to suit up, and you got your colors. Whatever color you want to be, I'm going to be red. So you hop in here. You, uh, I don't know if I could do this. Hold on. No. 
Well, there you go. There you go. So it's one of those auto dispenser thingies. You know, you just press a button, you get dispensed. We got the winning podiums here. Whoever came in first or not. This whole uh, racetrack is redstone. Uh, there's a little note here to not get on that trip wire right there, because that'll mess up everything. But if you have a boat, you would want to start it here. And you could you could flip this over, or you could flip the one on top. But there's little notes, and uh, the, you know, like the do do do, they go off when you start a race. I forgot to reset it. I need to reset it. Hold on. There's a reset button here. I haven't filtered in a reset for it yet, but I probably could. Yeah, there you go. The, the ice falls and you're all ready to go. If you haven't seen it, I'll just I'll just drive a little bit. Yeah, uh, you go really fast on the ice. Like it's it's crazy fast. It's really fun too. I'm pretty good at it. It's really hard to get a, get the hang of it, but uh, once you do, it's really fun. But uh, there's a whole racetrack to it. There's even a little slime launcher thing that launches you over that gap, and then you keep going. And every time you pass this trip wire, it actually adds a lap. You trip it once, see that light's going to turn on. Hit it a second time, the second light's going to turn on. And then the third light's gonna turn on, and then, if, and then uh, this is gonna hop up, and the lights are gonna turn off, and then this is where you reset it. You would reset it here. And then I think all you have to do is just go press this lever. I probably did it in the wrong way. Again, I gotta, yeah, okay, that worked. I gotta, I gotta rewire everything. I gotta make it so it resets itself, which would be really helpful. But by the laps, using the laps, I just did this little mechanism here, where every time it would. Uh, bring it would push this block over which would power this and it would add one and then the next time it would power that power it over power it over power it over and then once this gets powered it sets a reset over and all these push all these pistons push all the blocks back so they're not powering anything that's my lap mechanism there there's gonna be uh roller coasters and some random redstone stuff. I'm working on this floating castle, which would look pretty damn cool when it's done. There's gonna be a whole Monopoly board if anybody wants to play Monopoly. It's actually Minopoly. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Minecraft jokes. Ha ha ha. This is a project I've been working on. It's not finished yet, obviously, but it's going to be a uh, an observatory, or a, what are they called, the, the planet observatory things, where you just go inside and like the whole room spins around you. So, the whole room kind of spins. Obviously, there's a lot of piston lag, so it's not, <laughs> it's not really the best, just chunks just keep disappearing when everything moves. But it, it will work eventually. I'm going to get the whole thing done. There's going to be a whole ceiling and everything that goes with it. Uh, what else is there? There's a little bouncy house. I'm going to make... I'm, I'm trying to make a... Uh, what is this called? Battleship kind of map. Instead of levers though, it's going to be buttons. I'm just working on how I'm going to wire everything. So what you would use for this is actually TNT, and as you can see underneath here, it powers it would it would power straight up into the diamond blocks, and it would power up anything that's there. It was glitching with me earlier, but I don't think it'll glitch because I'm by myself. I was with somebody else. No, it's still glitching for some reason. It should power it. I don't know why it's not. Maybe there isn't an update or something. But last I knew, if there was a redstone block or a redstone torch under a block, it should power the. The TNT. It was working. I don't know why it's not now, but it was working. Uh, there's gonna be a whole like little abandoned park here, where you could take snowballs, I guess, and we're just gonna play like paintball or something. But uh, once this is done, it'll be pretty awesome. There's a whole bunch of you know this places to hide, there's tall grass everywhere, and there's little dugouts like this that you could hide behind. There's a whole bunch of obstacles and stuff that you could get down into, little 
handmade uh, wooden dugout there. Bunch of cool stuff. Um, not really much more. There's a little maze here. It has a whole Easter egg to it, but I'll tell you about that if you join the game because that's kind of too much to talk about right now. But that's my park so far. It's pretty cool. I was going to add a ice rink in the middle because why not? And I'll go and show you the final map that I wanted that I'm working on, which would be awesome if I got some work into it. And I've got some people who would want to help me. Now I gotta find it, which is the only problem. Uh, right here. Okay. I got a huge project I'm working on here. I'm just gonna hop out. Don't look yet. No, don't look. I'm not supposed to be looking. Don't look. Don't look yet. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Okay, look. <laughs> uh, it is a castle I'm working on. It is pretty massive. There's gonna be a whole bunch of rules and stuff on here. I'm thinking about trying to make a, a um, an actual server one day which will be pretty awesome but uh, there's a lot to this castle sorry about that uh, there's a lot to this castle there's a lot going on there's gonna be a lot more there's gonna be a whole bunch of houses and stuff It's gonna be separated by by the poor and the famous or not famous but the poor and the rich and there's gonna be a big dock out here as you can see it's not done lighthouse huge castle that's also not done don't worry about the floating houses and stuff. My uh, analog's a little broken, but... Alright, so here we go, there's the back of the castle. It's looking pretty awesome. There's a whole secret to it that I'm not going to show off right now. Why would I show off a secret? I'm sure you could find the secret if you ever got here. It has something to do with this room, that's all That's all I'm going to say. But, this castle is a really awesome project. And it's just too much for me to do by myself. So, if anybody would want to join this and work on this project, you got could obviously do that it's no problem I got the same door in here actually I got the same exact door flick it and oh 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 you flick it and it closes excuse me the whole thing is uh, through a light sensor so when it's when it's nighttime it'll lock you see here uh, will automatically close that night when it's open and my cats are really bugging me today and they're making so much noise uh, uh, as I said it'll open at night or it'll close at night and it'll open in the morning if it's locked, it won't open up. As you can see, it's locked right now. It's closed and locked. It won't open up if it changes to night or day. But if it's open, uh, I'll show you right now. I'll swap it to night. And it should just load closed. So once it hits nighttime, it closes. Once it hits uh, daytime, it reopens. All by itself. Got a whole jail under here. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. It's really deep underground. And we got a self-repairing bridge with a cobblestone generator. 
if there was anybody like ever coming in or if a creeper got in or something and he blew up the bridge it would reset but if there was enemies you could just push this lever and it stops repairing and then you could purposely blow it up or break it if you knew there was an attack coming in no just role play i guess if there's a if you knew that, a, that a, another kingdom was trying to attack you or some raiders or something you could just cut down the bridge or blow it up and then they would have a hard time getting through because most of this is leveled up like that. There's multiple levels. There's, there's one way over here, but I think that's pretty much all that's going to be the only, the only way to get up. Except for here would be kind of easy to get up. But then all you got to do is just walk over here, flick this lever, and then it, uh, it just slowly repairs itself. There's a lot of secrets to this castle. There's a, there's, a, there's a couple of secrets in the castle itself, and then there's a couple of secrets to get out of the castle walls. Uh, there's some secret entrances and stuff like that. Uh, I'm working on making a smaller version of those doors, like a two by two, like two two doors that open and close at night and day and all that. But that's really compact and it is not working very well. So that's a project, if anybody's really good with redstone they could work on that, because I'm not the best with redstone. But yeah, here's my castle, it's pretty awesome, I think. I did a lot of work into it, and when it's done I will definitely post it again on uh, on YouTube. We got some markets, food markets, brewery with like potions and stuff, and then blacksmith armors and weapons. The daylight sensor is actually down here. Night and daylight sensor. Figured it. It looks like it's just it's just a normal sewer hatch. Nobody would really look in there and be like, oh, wow, look. There's not water down there. Yeah. There's a lot to this castle. It's pretty detailed. I, I love this castle. And over here, I was gonna have a, uh, a a big wizard tower or something. I'm not sure yet. There was actually a whole island right here. This was a massive island, <laughs> and I didn't like how it looked. It was ruining the look of the castle and all that. I wanted it to overlook the ocean, so we blew up the entire island. It was literally like the size of that island. It was huge. I'm just going to fly around so you can get a good view of this. Put a lot of detail into this. I didn't want it to just all be stone brick. So I changed it up on the walls. As you can see, it's actually ladder proof as well because you can't place ladders on, uh, on stairs. Obviously the towers aren't very ladder proof, but I'm going to fix those because the tower is very plain. They're just stone brick and I don't really like the look of plain stone brick so I was gonna add some more stair look uh, upside down stairs like this because it, it looks really nice did some random decoration on the on the boat entrance I was also working I was also thinking about working out about uh, some gate that I could put there that like sinks into the water but that'll be a lot of work and I'm not even sure if I could do that Don't mind the floating house, this is just a test house. I wasn't sure what I wanted the house to look like, so this is just a test house. I'm just testing it out to see if I like how the test house looks. Um, don't know why he has a pumpkin on his head, or why there's a cow looking through the wall. This is Jim's dog Jimbo. This is actually Jim. He had a name, but I think I killed the original Jim. So that would be... I don't think that would be a rich house to say, but this one, this one would be a super poor house because I wanted it to like, I wanted this part to be kind of poor and then here I would fence it off and then this would be the more rich area because this is the entrance to the castle. This is where the entrance to the castle would be, like right about here. Probably going to take out this tower and move this around, but the entrance would be about right here and it just wouldn't really seem that well if it was just connected to the poor part because, you know, you played Fable and all that, and 
you enter the castle and then you're in the poor part and then you gotta go back and then it gets into like the royal gardens and all that and then you can enter the castle so that was my plan there if anybody's good with houses if anybody has any ideas for houses similar to this uh, I like the spruce wood look with some cobblestones Um, I guess I'll show you one more map. That's kind of just kind of quick video. There's nothing really to it. I just want to show off some maps, and if anybody wants to join me, they could join me. One more map that I was working on, which is really awesome. It's a lava arena. I kind of got this idea from uh, Jack and Dexter because Jack and Dexter are like my favorite maps that, or my favorite games ever. So obviously, it's not done. I wanted a whole castle looking spot here, but uh, here's the arena. It looks pretty plain right now, but just just wait, just wait. So what happens is you're stuck over here, and there's a randomizer, there's a couple of randomizers actually that randomize what uh, what platforms are going to submerge and when they're going to come back up and all that. So they submerge. I thought that one was going to submerge too. So pretty much you just got to pay attention to where the fireworks come through. Watch everything. You can jump wherever you want. There is a chance that all four of them will go off at the same time and they'll all sink. So that's why I added some uh, platforms over here that you could hop onto and crouch because when you're crouched you don't get hurt by uh, you don't get hurt by standing on those so there is ways to survive if all four platforms do fall down but I think it would be pretty awesome you could play it obviously you could play it PvP with multiple people or there's gonna be another option that you could turn on and actually add uh, you could actually add um, zombies and stuff that come down this is also sort of a randomizer there's gonna be a water stream that goes down here Jesus man a cat's make any more noise today there's gonna to be a randomizer over here which randomizes which uh, which side gets activated and it pretty much would pull them whatever way because when the pistons come out they glitch and they pull them back so if this piston was activated it would pull the zombie and drop them on this platform. There's going to be three of those. There's going to be one there, one there, and one there. So that would just keep spawning zombies. And they would randomize what platforms they, they fell on. So you could play it one. You could play it by yourself against zombies. Or, of course, you could just not do that. You could play it with people and zombies if you wanted. You could do whatever you want. But uh, it's all timed after a certain amount of laps, pretty much, like just like the ice, just like the uh, ice boat race thing I was talking about. A certain amount of times that each platform is active, it'll stop. It'll put all the platforms back up, and then, uh, and then the the bridge will come back up, and there's gonna be like a fireworks show and everything when the bridge comes up. I don't know when this is going to stop. I'll let it roll for a little bit longer before I before I end the video. I think I had like 10 rounds or something. And every time a uh, every time it randomized and did that like every time one platform would fall down that would be a round 
but it doesn't it doesn't work if there's multiple at the same time so it, it's it's uh, it's timed so like yeah see three three of those just went off they're not gonna count as three rounds obviously Yep, okay, that was it. As you can see, the uh, bridge is coming back up, and then some fireworks going off. And then all the platforms come back up. And that's the end of it. I can show you the redstone real quick. Here's the whole uh, bridge assembly part. And then the, the fireworks go off, and those redstone come back. There's a timer here that keeps sending time to this once this uh, I don't know what this is called I think it's called like a T-switch or something there's like the redstone torch underneath this block and then once this gets powered it swaps it so it's, uh, it turns off the timer but it turns on the bridge so when, th when this gets turned off the bridge turns off and the timer starts and then it starts counting down with these items you know the little dropper hopper stuff not really sure exactly how that works. I think it goes back and forth. And they, they uh, randomly send out a time, which comes over here. And then they get randomized through these randomizers. And they go through, and they activate each platform, which is just, these are each platforms right here. There's a timer, so when this gets activated, it drops the platform, right, because it's up right now, as you can see, uh, the pistons are up. When this gets activated, it drops all the platforms, and then it sends a, uh, mm, what is this called, a mm, monostable circuit or whatever. It sends, it sends one tick out here, which travels along for like 10 seconds, I think, and then it resets it and the platform comes back up. But they have all of the same thing, they're all the same. Every single one is the same. And then all the power comes up through the middle. And it, uh, I don't know why this is activated. I should just send it a, a reset real quick. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. I just, I just broke it. I broke the whole game. Yeah, I forgot to uh, turn that off. So, there goes the fireworks. Yep, that's it pretty much. If anybody wants to come and help me with whatever map, or if you guys have any cool ideas of some arenas or something that you could do, uh, it would be awesome. Just comment your gamer tag, or if you don't want to comment your gamer tag, uh, message me on my gamer tag, message my Xbox account, and send a friend's request. Or if you can't send a friend request, just send a message to me. I'll delete somebody off my list that hasn't been active in a while, and then I will add you back. But that is pretty much it. That is my showcase of all those projects I'm working on. Play Minecraft. Watch Top Gear, Get Pig, as it says over in the corner. That's going to be a good slogan. You were watching Rasta Rhino Gaming, but I'm sure you already knew that. Add me if you want. I know I already said it like three or four times by now, but add me. I'm a local celebrity. I'm just kidding. I'm not that big yet. But, uh, message me if you want. Comment some stuff. All that good stuff, you know. Like the video if you enjoyed my creations. They were pretty awesome, I think. I put a lot of time into those castles, dude. But, I'm out.